everyone, it's Epic Zar, and I'm back again with another video. Your African Barbie, how you doing? I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, are we having another lingerie chat? Let me tell you, girl or guy, yes we are. Because you guys requested, this was like super requested, a how to glow up video. Now I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail, my glow up was pretty substantial. So I'm here to teach you how to glow up. It's really not that difficult. You don't really need to stress yourself. Before we get into the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you guys enjoy this channel and want to see more videos like this. Be sure to also comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time we post a new video. Thank you guys so much for loving us and supporting us. Let's get right into this how to glow up video. So guys, I'm giving you 12 extremely practical things to employ if you're trying to glow up. I'm sure all of us have been there, you know, I was that kid in high school. Actually, I was okay by the time I got to 11th grade. I think that's when I started to glow up small, but it wasn't until I turned 20 that I was really beginning to pop, pop, pop. So, <laughs> These are some very practical ways to glow up. If after this you'd like to see a continuation, be sure to comment down below and let me know. And I'll compile more instructions so you guys can have a more extensive survey of the glow up. Grab your almond milk if you're like me. You can grab some wine or champagne. If you drink, if you're too young to drink, you better be grabbing that almond milk. <laughs> I'm not trying to be responsible for any underage drinking, y'all. Let's get right into this. First things first. Drink water and mind your business. I know you're like, girl, are you serious? Yes, actually, I'm very serious. Drinking water is essential to a healthy body, a healthy mind, and healthy skin. Part of the glow up for me was becoming popping all round. My skin isn't super perfect right now, but as far as the texture, because I drink a lot of water, my texture stays consistently nice. So no matter what experience, no matter what struggles, I've well, no matter what kinds of struggles I'm experiencing as far as hyperpigmentation or discoloration go, at least my texture is popping and at the end of the day, those things will fade. So drink your water and mind your business, especially if you have problem skin. Stop stressing. Don't stress yourself out. Stress leads to blackheads. I know. Stress also makes your body unsettled. It imbalances your hormones, which could lead to things like weight gain, high blood pressure, and all sorts of things that we just don't need in our lives. So stop stressing. Some of the ways I de-stress are by exercising, drinking tea, taking vitamins. Look, before you people say, Mom, Zara said I should take vitamins not to stress. You need to actually check with your doctor to be sure that any type of anti-stress vitamin or even daily vitamin is safe for you. So don't, don't take that one. Just drink tea, exercise, drink plenty of water. There are a whole bunch of ways to maintain a healthy level of stress. Of course, it's important to be energized, to work hard, you know, to do well, to succeed, but you shouldn't get to a point where you're like, oh my God, I can't sleep at night, I'm sweating profusely, I have anxiety, I'm panicking. No, 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 no. That's not healthy. So be sure to do the things you love. Drink tea, again, that's like number one de-stressor for me. And relax, take deep breaths, do not stress. That's really important to the glow up. Number three is extremely practical because words are super powerful. Pronounce daily affirmations. Make sure every day you're telling yourself, I am beautiful, I am special, I am fantastic, even if you don't believe it. The more you tell yourself these things, the more true they will become, the more real they will become, the more tangible they will become. I think there was an experiment with different plants. I don't know how many decades ago, my mom was preaching about this one time. If you guys didn't know, my mom's a pastor, but yeah. And they had these two plants and treated them the exact same way, minus the way that they spoke to the plants. So one plant, was always spoken to positively. The other plant was always spoken to negatively. At the end of a fixed amount of time, the plant that was always positively affirmed displayed a significant amount of growth. And I think the other one had even died 
or was just really little. Words are really powerful. I know you guys are probably like, girl, that sounds real crazy, like new agey ish But no, like, if you're a Christian, it's a very, very common principle. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. If you're a member of another religious group, I'm sure that there are also things that speak of the power of words. Always speak positively. Always speak about yourself positively. And look in the mirror every day and tell yourself, I'm beautiful. I did that for a very long time. And at a point, not only did I start to believe it, people saw me and said, wow, this girl is really, really beautiful. So those things are extremely important. And psh, I really subscribe to that. Number four, this might sound a little crazy too, but these are all very practical things I did to glow up. So take a personality test, preferably a Myers-Briggs personality test. Look, they're not sponsoring this video, but the reason I say this is because it's very important to have an understanding of who you are as an individual. My personality type is INFJ. I'm a composer. That's actually what I studied in school. This to me was so freaky, but one of the career paths that my personality test told me I should definitely pursue was composer. I was like, ah. Uh -uh. This thing is actually really accurate. I've always known myself very well, but this helped me to understand myself better because it told me what I knew, but it also explained why what I knew was the way it was. So I think personality tests are extremely important because in order to be confident in yourself, you need to know yourself. You need to have an understanding of who you are. You need to be sure of who you are, what you are, what you believe in. If you know yourself, nobody can make you feel anything less than fantastic. Even if they're saying, you girl or guy, you're ugly, you're dumb, this, this, and that. You won't even be able to accept those words because you know exactly who you are. So I'm a huge proponent of personality tests, you guys. I know that's kind of strange again, but this is actually really practical and these are things that sincerely helps me to glow up. Number five is to look your best always. And this is another thing that is definitely related to my mom. Thanks mom for helping me glow up. Now look y'all, you never know who you will encounter. You can't just go out in the streets looking haggard and crazy. You might see your husband or your wife or someone who wants to scout you to be a model, I don't know. You really just never know. So even if you want to go outside and sweat, at least make sure that you look neat, presentable, well kept. Putting your best foot forward always, looking your best always, is part of feeling really good. If you go outside looking good, chances are you will feel good. If you feel good, people will recognize that confidence in you. They'll feel that and gravitate towards it. The sixth one is related to going outside looking your best. It's practice looking good. I know you're like, girl, what do you mean? Well, let me tell you. I didn't just wake up one day with a beat face. No, that's not how that happened. I had to work on styling myself and doing my makeup well, styling my hair. So you know you want to look a certain way. You can't just expect it to happen overnight if you want to look good you need to actually work on yourself you need to practice looking the way that you desire to look i'm not telling you to change everything about yourself no what i am telling you to do though is to look as good as you personally can look good in yourself don't try to be anyone else that's really just it if it's makeup that you don't know how to do but you want to have that you know flawless black girl magic beat face then go watch some youtube tutorials they are very helpful my sister nixter she was actually my life-size youtube tutorial she's always known how to do makeup and i would watch her to learn a lot of my techniques and gradually over time i would add to my skill set by watching nicole or watching tutorials youtube is the real deal y'all number seven be sure to walk into every environment telling yourself that you are the ish make sure that you tell yourself you are really popping whenever i'm going out whenever i walk into a place i make sure that i'm saying to myself in my head girl you is fine it's you are so sexy i say that to myself every time i go out you guys and it definitely works when you are feeling yourself other people will surely feel you i have many interesting stories about those kinds of experiences you'd be surprised Maybe you won't be surprised. The kinds of people that approach you 
if you are very, very comfortable in your skin. There's something extremely sexy about confidence, not arrogance, not cockiness. I know there are people that find that attractive, but you don't have to be cocky, you don't have to be arrogant. You just have to know that you are phenomenal. Number eight, drop those boys. Drop them like it's hot. Drop them like hot tamales, children, because you don't need them in your life. You don't need them in your life. The only thing that they will do is make you feel like you're less than. So guys and gals, drop those F boys. Guys and gals, drop those F girls. Drop the F people, really, that's just it. Guy, girl, or gender neutral, drop them. Drop them. Drop them so long as they're trying to F your life up. You don't need those kinds of people in your life. I've experienced my fair share of F boys. But the way I do life is that I like to listen to people around me that know what they're talking about. I don't like to struggle. I don't have time to be stressing myself and struggling. Instead of go through something and experience all of the trauma, let me just listen to my BFF Becky or my real BFF Chelsea and hear what they have to say about the individual. Why should I put myself in anything that's going to just damage my self-esteem and my perspective of self? I love myself very much. I'm not about to go and struggle with somebody who's going to pull that self-love out of me and stomp on it, God forbid. So stay away from the F boys. It can be challenging, but if the people that genuinely love you are telling you stay away from that one, then you need to listen. Just avoid stress, avoid struggle. Remember, let's just refer back to number two, stop stressing. Part of stopping stress is avoiding it. So run away from F boys, children, run away. Number nine, be sure to exercise. I actually haven't been as active as I'm used to being and I really love to exercise. I've always been very active. Now, I'm not trying to be a size two. I'm not trying to be anything other than what my body is naturally inclined towards. But I advise this because exercising puts your body in top form. So whatever your shape, Whatever your figure, your body is going to be at its peak, and that's really hot. It's also just good for hair, good for skin, good for everything, really. It's heart healthy, it's hair healthy, it's really just all round healthy. It's even good for your mental health. If you guys didn't know, exercise, especially running, produces endorphins, the happy hormone, so long as you're doing it in the right state of mind. Number 10. Take care of yourself. If that means doing your nails every week, girl, you better do your nails every week. If it means trimming your hair, trim that hair. If it means getting a facial, getting a massage, do it. Take good care of yourself. Take exceptional care of yourself. Pamper yourself because if you love yourself, it will be very, very easy for the right person to love you. If you love yourself, people will see that and be drawn to that. You will glow from the inside out. So be sure to actually pamper your body, your hair, for your health, your heart, and your mind. These things are super important and very necessary to glowing up. Number 11, focus on being happy and being a better version of yourself. You don't need to be like anyone else. Do not even try to be like anyone else. I know you guys are probably like, girl, we finna glow up. Tell us how to glow up. Who do we need to dress like? Who do we need to look like? You actually don't need to look like anyone only strive to look like yourself strive to be better than yourself and recognize that as you are now you are very very beautiful that's important if you guys notice a lot of these things actually tie back into one another because all of them are very related glowing up is more about your mental state than it is about your physical state because what you are thinking how you feel inwardly is going to reflect outwardly it took me a while to get to this point where i'm wow i'm kind of popping you know I'm, I'm a little cute i feel myself i'm fine with that so make sure that you're feeling yourself here and thinking of moving forward here before you try to change everything about how you look there's no reason to just try to be the best version of yourself Number 12, I'm going to leave you with this. If you're trying to glow up, be sure to take your time. Recognize that this is a process. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to go to sleep and then wake up and you're Marilyn Monroe. No, that's not how that's going to happen. So if your name is Brittany McCarthy and you're going to sleep as Brittany McCarthy, every day, if you have a positive attitude and actually employ these things, you'll wake up feeling like a better version of the Brittany McCarthy that was yesterday. Don't rush, take your time. 
You're young, you're beautiful, you're fantastic. And you will certainly be what it is that you want to be. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this very practical, a bit more abstract than normal list on how to glow up. These are actually things I employed and still employ because it's not easy going through life every day feeling fantastic and certain experiences have the potential to bog us down but if you continue to maintain a positive attitude and a positive mentality you'll surely come out of whatever it is that you're experiencing a better and stronger individual be sure to take your time and as you're doing so give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you guys have any more tips on how to glow up and if you'd like to see another video where i demonstrate some glow up hacks let me know but again, these are all of the very practical things I employ to glow up. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so that you know every time we post a new video. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. God bless you guys. And if you want to see more of these lingerie chats in my grandmother lingerie, let me know. I'll be sure to provide them and give me some interesting topics that you guys would like me to talk about. I have a topic in mind. Anyway, we'll see. It's low-key NSFW, but we'll see. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next video.